So the vectors and mechanics section is here. A particle moves along a straight line such that after time t seconds, its displacement s of m from the starting point is given by s equal t cube minus 15t squared plus 63t minus 40. Find the a distance from the starting point when a particle is momentarily at rest for the first time. Velocity of the particle when its acceleration is 18 meters per second squared. So to do that, we have to differentiate the s, the displacement, in order to get the velocity. So this is the velocity function. So when the particle is momentarily at rest, then the ds dt is equal to zero. That is, the velocity is equal to zero. So we equate this to zero and solve for t. And that will give us t to be equal to three seconds or seven seconds. Please attach the unit for me. Good. So what do we do next? We said for the first time, for the first time, the particle is at rest for the first time, the distance from the starting point. So for the first time, t will be equal to 3 seconds. So we substitute t equal 3 into this to obtain 41 meters. Then the b part said the velocity of the particle when its acceleration is 80 meters per second squared. So we have to find the acceleration by differentiating the velocity. So we get 60 minus 30 equal 18 because of this at acceleration equal 80 meters per second squared. So we solve for the time to get t equal 8 seconds. So when t equal 8 seconds, then we find the velocity v of 8 to be equal to 50 meters per seconds. Now let's look at the question number 15. The vertices of P, Q, and R of a triangle have position vectors P equal 4i plus j, Q equals 6i minus 2j, and R equals 7i plus 3j respectively. Calculate the length of the three sides and name the type of triangle, area of the triangle, then value of angle P, Q, R. So let's begin. This is the triangle. We have the origin here. Then we have the position vectors. We have the vertices of this triangle over here. And we are asked to find the length of the three sides and name the type of triangle. So we need to find a vector PR, PQ, and QR. So vector PQ be equal to position vector OQ minus OP. So we substitute the vectors and find the magnitude. So that will give us root 13 units for PQ. So PQ is root 13 units. Root 13. So this side, root 13. Now we have QR to be also root 26 units. So we follow the same procedure as this. So this is root 26 units. Then we have now PR to be equal to 13 units. So root 13 units. Good. Now the B passage we should find the area of triangle PQR. So we can use the dot product of vectors. We know vector PR dot vector PQ should be equal to magnitude of PR times PQ cos QPR, which is this angle. So we dot the vectors, and that will give us zero for this, which tells us that this angle here is a 90 degree angle. So angle QPR is equal to 90 degrees, or pi over 2. So what do we do next? We know the area of this triangle 
can be found using so many formulae so you can try any of them I'm going to use this one half times this length times this length sine of this angle which is 90 so sine 90 or sine pi over 2 and that will give us 1 so 1 times 13 times half is 6.5 square units so that is the area of triangle PQR now to find the value of angle QPR this angle here is 90 plus this one plus this one should be equal to 180 degrees so 2 times of PQR should be equal to 90 that means angle PQR is 45 degrees or pi over 2 so this is the solution to NOVDEC 2023 WASI Federal Mathematics Paper 2 Vectors and Mechanics section. Thanks. See you in another video.